Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Team Skywater Season Challenge where the boys are two and two. Huh! The boys. Makes it seem like the boys are somebody else other than us. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better that uh, way. Yeah, like we're a third party watching this unfold. <laughs> <laughs> we're just commentating on the match. We have no control over right. the cars. Did, did uh, we mention it's not actually us playing? Oh, it is us it playing. It is us playing, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, so far, uh, if our track record continues, we should win this game and then lose the next one. Oh, well, let's hope that doesn't continue in the correct way. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> All right, let's dive right let's, in. Let's go. Let's go where it gets the dragons. They are. They have lost more games than us, so... That, that makes me feel better. Somehow we're not the underdogs. <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. DFH Stadium. Dallas-Fort Houston. Dallas-Fort Houston. As we like to call it. I think this is your ball. Okay, yep. <laughs> Woo! All right, All right so uh, question number one is from uh, Big Nico. Uh, Goal! Big Nico. <laughs> yeah, right, well, we're off to a good start. Yeah, all right, awesome. Jay, now we just need to play defense the rest of the game. Rest of the game. Don't get scored on. That's the way easier than trying to score. Yes. yes. not getting scored on. Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> so, what's some advice for dealing with a Dolores Umbridge-style teacher? Oh, we all get them, and I just need some advice, as this teacher has turned me off the subjects he teaches. The subject wasn't like a career-making subject, but it's still a shame how I don't have any passion for the subject anymore. Oh man, my um, goodness! That uh, I, I think that's like what made Umbridge such uh, a powerful character in the Harry Potter series, and I think J.K.'s actually talked about this before. But it's because everybody had one. Everyone you know? has an like, Umbridge, yeah. Um, it is such a relatable character because there's just that person oh, who is like okay. made your life miserable, and it's like you just feel like it was unnecessarily uh, happening. Sure. Um, you know, I, I think the big thing to, to remember is that, like, within the course of everything, um, bad stories oh, no. always end up being your best stories. So just keeping in mind the fact that I just got scored on. Um, Bound. Just keeping in fact the mind. Keeping in mind the fact. Yep. Man, I really got <laughs> you that You got wrong. there. You got there. <laughs> <laughs> that at some point in time you will get away from this person, uh, which would be wonderful. And at that point in time, you'll get to tell everybody about all of the tragic experiences. Oh, go Oh my gosh, Joe, you are carrying the team <laughs> on your shoulders. <laughs> well, the aces, I mean, I don't know I don't know if you can give you credit to people for aces. It just sort of happens. Yeah. I'm giving you credit all day for aces okay. because we are not doing well in this in this all-star platform, and, and I will take your it. Ball, your ball, your ball. I'm sure they can still get that to happen on the all-star. Oh, oh, I know. I, I think it's just, it's just total. Yeah. I mean, you get you get lucky sometimes. Um, I bring that ball. Jay, around. do you have any advice? Did you ever have an umbrage? You know, I don't know if I've had a necessarily. Whoop, an, whoop. Oh, oh. dude! I, the person I'm remembering is my ninth grade science teacher, in particular, um, Miss Flora. If you're listening, I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 that may have been my bad. Or just back me. Um, tardy, I remember. Is that what she used to say, it, no, no, no. Jonathan, no. thank you for being tardy again today. Oh, I wasn't tardy. Class. Class. I wasn't tardy. Class. Um, but I remember the the thing was it was we were supposed to have one teacher, and that teacher had like was I don't know what it was. Maybe she was on maternity leave or whatever reason she wasn't there for like the first four months of the year. And then she came back, and we were all and, like, Miss Flora was the substitute for like you know long term oh. sub. And she was just awful. Like she didn't, you know, she was learning the material as it was happening, and All of a sudden, uh, you got yeah, it out of way. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, like, but she when, was like a real rules stickler, but like didn't know what she was doing either. And it was sure. just like, oh my god, you were right. the worst. And it makes everything come across as like so hypocritical. It's like yeah. you you are also like in learning curve territory right there with us. Yeah. No. Uh, but then it was it got even worse because so whatever the amount of time passes and our regular teacher comes back and she's still in like grad school as well so it turns out I, I don't know much about her I don't even remember her name but we thought we were, were escaped from her and then it turns out the new teacher was like I just need to resign and focus on grad school and or my child or I can't whatever it was and there the school was like well great we'll just bring Miss Flora back and it was like no no, are you kidding? <laughs> uh, so, when did this work a second time? I don't that happening. I was like, yeah, we're up three. You had such a good story. <laughs> uh, I remember she had this uh, 
poster in the room that said you are all unique or something like I don't know but the, the word unique was spelled wrong so it was like U-N-I-K as if like the word unique was uniquely spelled you know like that kind of thing oh, I hated good. that poster that's so not much ugh just had a head on collision there with Hound the Hound? the Hound the the Hound the, the <laughs> Hound it does look bulky Ooh. Oh man! Not quite, not quite. Oh, that like oh, oh, it oh, did! I'll it take it! <laughs> oh my gosh! Was that? It, it'd be great if the other car was named the Mountain. The is Mountain it, it's Viper. Viper. Although oh, the Viper, the Hound, no, the Viper is killed by the Mountain. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. But the Hound is the Mountain's I brother. If, uh, yes. For their three-man team, the Mountain is one of them. Oh, that would that be, would be so amazing! Cool. Oh, my gosh, I would yeah. love it if it. It wouldn't even surprise me because this game has uh, a nice sense of humor about it. Oh, yeah. It definitely does. It definitely does. Aha! Fool! Oh, nice. Oh, did I, you, I did you I, catapult me? I think I did. Okay. <laughs> I am sorry about that. Boy, if we could perfect that. <laughs> Slingshot get, get engaged. It's like, uh, what's the Colossus and uh, Wolverine thing? You guys know what I'm talking about? Uh, it sounds like Colossus throws Wolverine. Yeah, but I don't think they have like a name for it. I can't remember. I think it was Shake and Bake. <laughs> I'm remembering correctly. I'm remembering correctly. There's something special like that. Something ball special. Center ball. That's okay. No worries, Jay. You and I, I was. I was uh, not in position. I will, I will admit. Center now, ball. This time, ball. I Let's shall go. not. I'll, I was in position, but so were they. That was the problem. Ah, uh, yes, yes. We need you to be in position and for them not to be. Right. It's, uh, that is. This the... is some some groundbreaking strategy uh, in the world of soccer that we're developing. So with uh, your teacher that you had, or the substitute teacher, um, and you. Was this a subject that you liked? What, it was science. I mean, it was science. It was a subject I had just historically not had any trouble with, and I don't. Th I think I still did fine in the class. It was just like, um, it was just a very a terrible experience because yeah, it, the, the subject was um, normally pretty easy, and it was just like I'm not looking forward to this class because of the teacher. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. So uh, me and you had the same English teacher. I think it was I had for her for 11th grade. Yeah. Uh, also Miss, 11th grade. Miss Davis. Uh, Miss Davis. Um, and she, there is this one test. No pencils, where, not math class, or whatever. Oh my gosh, yes, you're so true. Oh man, yeah. Round, Round Robin. No, no pencils, <laughs> not math class was like one of her like sayings. Oh, oh <laughs> I hope you saw yes. that. That, that was amazing. Yes. Oh my gosh, spectacular. Boom, no, coming in, watch it, watch um, it, catch the volley, kaboom, kaboom. There no. it is. Okay, so we had this, we had this quiz once upon a time. We were reading this book in YouTube, yep. uh, and one of the questions was something along the lines of, um, why couldn't so and so see the gas, or why couldn't so and so see like the danger when he walked into the cave? And the answer to the question was because it was a colorless, odorless gas. But the question specifically asked one sensory detail, not both. Like, not it wasn't like why couldn't he detect? the problem, which would be because it was colorless, odorless gas. So everybody put, like, because it was colorless, because, like, we had, like, specifically talked about how it was colorless. Right. In, like, in review of the book. Right. But she marked everybody's question wrong because we didn't put colorless, odorless. And, like, everybody was just in complete outrage. It was one of That's these situations so where it was like, you know <laughs> that, like, we know right. it's yeah. both, but right. the way the question is worded yeah. didn't say, why couldn't he smell it? It said, why couldn't he see it? Yeah. Oh, man, and we had a very similar situation with the same teacher where... <laughs> why couldn't he see it? Excuse me. Hashtag gay rips. Um, right. It, we were, it was in the poetry section of the year, and there was, like, a quiz... It was, like, a quiz from a textbook in the middle of the quiz... Er, a poem from a textbook in the middle of the quiz, and it was like, no, oh, what... What what was the author's like intended metaphor or whatever? It was like you had to interpret the poem in some way. And it was just like who knows? I remember being something about sheep and just like I am I have no idea. I have no idea. And so I put whatever your best guess is. And it, this is one of those things where like poetry is sort of like intended to be interpreted how sure. the reader interprets it kind of thing. And I remember like she had no idea, but uh the textbook, the textbook had, an, had answer. an answer, and it was like, that's the answer. And it was like, can you explain why? And it's like, yeah, because it says it in the textbook. And you're like, that's <laughs> not, you don't even know why that's the right answer. You're just being, <laughs> you're not interpreting oh poetry. You're not, you you're, did, yeah, uh, uh, it wasn't like a poem we'd learned before. You know, it wasn't, uh, I can't, it still makes me mad. I can tell that you're worked out. I can, <laughs> I can tell. tell, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the window, answer guys. is, eventually, you won't have to deal with the teacher anymore. Yes. And in the meantime, just try and focus on the work and not 
the oh, future. And do not let them get you disenchanted with it. Because, like, yeah. that's that's totally one of those things. This is, like, one person. And the other thing is, along the way, if you're passionate about anything, there are going to be people who try to take that from you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, um, semi-related here. It's sort of similar situation. I remember we played... I played uh, soccer for, like, uh, our high school team. And I played it from 8th grade to 11th grade. And it seems weird. Like, why'd you stop your senior year? And it was like... The people on the team had become like so toxic to be around. It was like I. That's how uh, it just football like, was for me. Yeah, it just yeah. like it ruined the whole sport for me. Like I didn't want to play because of the people, not because of it. And I remember it was probably like two or three years, and someone in college was like, "Oh, do you want to be on our intramural team?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, I used to play." And I remember just going out and playing and thinking, "Oh my gosh, soccer is the best sport ever," right. which was of course the way I you know played it as a child. Sure. And it was like I don't I'd forgotten what it was like to play without terrible people yes yeah. Yeah, um, yeah no it's so true and uh it was yeah i remember that that elation returning and it being just like oh what a great feeling right it's like oh my gosh i i did actually enjoy That's this thing. thing yeah uh so sometimes you just got to get different people in life this is another just lesson in uh Removing toxic people from your life yeah, whenever yeah, yeah. possible. Oh yeah, that's like that's one of these things where we've talked to people before about the idea of doing like a like an oh, audit no, no. of oh, the people no. around you. It's like, like just just because historically people have been around you does not mean that they have to continue to be there. Yeah, like they, they haven't earned a permanent place in your life necessarily. So it's like if they don't bring you joy, then that doesn't necessarily have to be something that you have to maintain. Um, oh, go 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 go! Score score score! Oh, very, very close. Oh, uh, nice. We got another question nice. for okay, this game. Let's hear uh, it. This one's from Christoph the Ice Guy, who we just met this weekend. Hey! This is, uh, hey. This is Sean from uh, the Spartan Race. Oh, I love it. That's amazing. Is this one? Someone gave you ice things. Oh, my gosh. Somebody Frozen did give me ice. ice molds. Somebody did. Um, I cannot remember who it was off the Sorry, all ice molds. Uh, oh, did you from all the, the gifts from this weekend? Yes, yeah, yeah. So, for context, we did a meetup this weekend in Washington, D.C. Yes! We did a Spartan race in the morning, hashtag Supercar and Spartans, and then that afternoon we went and saw The Incredibles 2 with 280 Super Carlin friends, and it was like... Oh, it was amazing. Amazing, it was spectacular, and great. wonderful, and just shout out to literally all of our volunteers, Yearball. because they are the oh, man. It was great. best and greatest and hardest working, sweetest people ever. Whoa. And Oh, with the goal! Woo! Ben, 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 we, uh, we're okay. This we're we're doing well. Yeah. All right, so, okay. uh, yes, uh, sorry, Christoph the Ice Guy's question is, when should you get off of your parents' shared accounts? I recently graduated from college, and I'm still on their account, i.e. Netflix, and I'm not sure when or if I should set no. my own up. Nope. Oh, no, yeah. No, um, no, no, no. I would no. say ride that as long as you've been the class. I don't know. Which I, uh, I'm pretty sure you might be on our parents' Netflix account, you know? I think we're all... <laughs> Netflix has got one account, as far as right. I can tell. I know HBO. just sharing it. Yeah. We're all sharing one Netflix account, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe it. Sounds um... Yeah, I mean, those are the two schools, two schools of thought, right? I think the the time, uh, if you want to, I don't know, be diligent about it, maybe, is uh, right after college it makes a lot of sense to me. Or, like, when you get your first, like, career job, we'll say. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's, I guess there's there's certainly a rite of passage to the idea. But when it comes to... Oh, oh show, nice. When it comes to, like, uh, Netflix, I think... Netflix is so cheap. I think yeah. until, until they ask you. I mean, you can send them, like, a... Yeah, if they ask you or if you feel bad, you can send them, you know... 50 bucks for your half of the year or something. Right, right. Like, that's an just easy one to just, easy, like, yeah. knock out in one fell swoop. But, like, I think you have uh, YouTube TV and I have, like, Hulu Yeah, like, me and Ben share a bunch of accounts. Yeah, so that's kind of how I have with my parents. Like, they pay for the Netflix, but I'm paying for the, uh, the HBO account. So right, like, right, right, right. The weird one here, I think that a lot of people... Uh, cell phones. Cell phones, yes. Yeah, I know exactly where you're going with that. And, um, uh... Oh! They're so gonna come in hot on that. Yep. 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 Cell phones are hard because like the idea of going and getting an entirely new plan sometimes like involves getting a whole new number, which also seems like a problem. Um, yeah. The thing about cell phones is I would. It's like the weird thing is it's better to be on a family plan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, or I like historically I don't know. Yeah. And maybe they, uh, I ball. think if they're currently paying for like a cell phone. I think uh, offering to pay for your portion yeah. of it per month. Right. Uh, is going to. Uh, I mean, depending on their situation, maybe lessen the load on them, and also, I mean, probably make them pretty proud if you're able to, like. Uh, yeah, the answer. Yeah, the answer for cell phones, I think, is try and stay on it because it's simply cheaper. Yeah. Right. Um, right. But then offer to pay for it as well. 
Um, but here's the thing you have to watch out for yeah. is the people at the Verizon store or wherever are going to try and talk you out of it. They're gonna like, they're really gonna try and push you to not be on it because it's uh, bad for them. Bad for them. And uh, so do not, do not let them. They're gonna, yeah, don't let them do that. And that's that's Stay the other thing. So like one of the kind of like I think cultures that maybe has slowly been lost is sort of this idea that like you know your parents raise you so that eventually you can contribute to like the household and like because we don't live in shared households the same way that um, people historically have, it's not as common. But it is still really cool. And like I know, yeah, parents get in insanely proud um, at those moments like when you can oh. contribute to like the family as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like that's that's also something where I think you'll no. probably just be proud of yourself to do yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like I know, um, it actually, feels, it feels really good to be like, no, ma, I got it. Right. <laughs> actually, hilariously, like our entire family oh, is. Geez, we are yeah, like crazy we are, today. Yeah, it's been super good. Um, so our entire family is on my one of my business's cell phone plans, and so it was so funny the other day. I was at a party. Um, doing like a like a cookout for one of our friends birthdays and my dad calls from the Verizon store and he's like hey they need your authorization so that I can, <laughs> so that I can get into the account so like my dad had to hand me oh, man. hand the phone to the guy so he could talk to me so that he could get access to our oh, man. yeah our I've had that experience too plan. because yeah somehow you are the like the the, the, the master yeah. primary account holder on it. Yeah, for a uh, business account. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly it. So that that's always super funny, and I, I think I have just like a, the smallest amount of like pride in that little itty bitty goal. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just park right here. Yeah. What timing? Yeah. Let me just let it bounce off my hood. Ain't no thing. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> I think. You go for it. Whoo, man, they both got there. <laughs> <laughs> like a nothing. I need to get some hot pockets. Do that. Do that. What? Oh, oh, oh man, I thought you were gonna get the double kiss I there. I was gonna get the double on yeah. it too, but the I The hot pockets is what I call the little turbo boost. Oh, right, right. Not the, the yellow orb of goodness yes. is, is yeah. the um, is the big ones. The big yeah. ones. The little ones. Right, yeah, the little ones are the hot pockets. Not the yeah, you. Yeah, I got this. Plus, I like, oh, my, I I like my little it. jingles. I've always noticed that that's something I've done like throughout my life when I play video games. It's like I, I do tend to like just sing little itty bits. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I sing! <laughs> video games make me sing! In song form! Oh, God. Oh, nice save. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Coming across center. Coming across center. Could it be? Oh, Snood! Oh, I totally missed anywhere. it. Okay, I was like, maybe we can bounce it. No, I we're never gonna it. get that again. <laughs> the big bounce. The big bounce. Ah, oh, the big bounce was so great. Oh, look at this, eleven centered balls and five goals. What is that thing? <laughs> Gizmo. All right, uh, not going to equip that, but it's hilarious looking. That's warm. Yeah. So you don't get, you don't play warm. Look at you, six hundred. Good oh, lord, man. what were you doing? Five goals. Seven shots. Out I out think, you know, whatever. I, yeah. You know, Gerwin was Gerwin. in that, and I have uh, <laughs> I have such hostility <laughs> to you, Gerwin. I hate Gerwin. I'm not going to lie. Worst enemy. I bumped him a couple of times. Yeah, good, good. Not even because I had to, but because I wanted to. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't even playing anything else. Yes. Oh, oh man. man. What a wonderful day. We won both games. We did. Look at that. We're on a three-game win streak. We're still not in lead of the league, but we're coming for you, Cyclones. Oh, yeah. In fact, we're against the league-leading Cyclones oh, in no. the next episode. Oh, man. Well, that's going to be one you surely want to tune in for mm -hmm. because it's click it's, the bell for that it'll be epic it's basically the monday night football of rocket league oh so. it sure <laughs> is it sure is all right guys well be sure to leave any comments questions or updates that you may have if you've ever taken our advice and did <clears throat> the Excuse thing me. and it helped your life or even if it was bad advice and we need to revise it we appreciate <laughs> smell that one too. <laughs> all updates um but guys be sure to like subscribe and until next time bye bye